In today's We're Open Detroit, we're featuring a men's store in downtown Detroit that's close to hitting the centennial mark. Like many shops, the shutdown was a huge blow to business, but now they're being featured in a national ad campaign. 7 Action News reporter Saima Chowdhury shows us what this means for Hot Sam's. In 99 years, Hot Sam's has had a lot of ups and downs, and they're telling their story in a national commercial. We happen to be the oldest men's clothing store in downtown Detroit. This is a commercial for Square. You know, those little credit card readers you may find at shops? But the star in this national ad is Hot Sam's Men's Store. There are stories behind the store. The ad is narrated by marketing director Lauren Stovall. I am the legacy preserver. And what a legacy it is. Hot Sam's opened back in 1921. By the 70s, Lauren's father Tony Stovall and Cliff G. Green were salesmen in the store. That is, until 1994. They bought the store, the very store that they worked at. How can a store that sells clothes become the fabric of the Motor City? It's deeper than the clothing. We embody that deep-rooted history within our city. We are a store that believes in serving our customer, serving our community. We've seen it for years. We've seen businesses open and close all around us. But yet we're still here. Last year, Twitter and Square CEO Jack Dorsey visited Hot Sam's. Lauren says the store's uniqueness caught his attention. I love to say that we have survived the Great Depression. We have survived the recession and we are survivors. And like other stores, they have months of catching up to do since they were shut down from March until June. Not many stores still kind of carry kind of an authentic Detroit men's style. We do. But luckily, customers have not stopped shopping since they reopened their doors. I don't know where they're wearing these clothes to in the middle of a pandemic, but they are buying them and we appreciate it and we love to see it. And like a stitch found in these clothes, having a close knit connection to the community is what keeps them going. Lauren gets emotional talking about her father and Cliff still working so hard to experience Hot Sam's continued success. They are still here. You know, to see it. And Lauren says she has shed many tears of joy and she will continue to do so as they get ready to celebrate their 100th anniversary next year. In downtown Detroit, I'm Simon Chowdhury for 7 Action News.